What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to another weekly episode of Pokemon Shuffle of a Nintendo 3DS. Now we've checked in already, we've got our 500 coins. And if you don't remember in the last video, we pretty much did one of those level match challenges. I say that like it's like it's an old thing. I think these match challenges are, well they're, they're new to me anyway. Maybe you guys have seen them before, but they are pretty new to me. And it was Rayquaza, which is still here for another seven days. So it's definitely worth playing through that a few more times. We've only made it to level eight. But uh, I mean, honestly, keep doing it. Even if you guys are playing this game yourselves, keep doing it because it pretty much rewards you with something every stage you do, as you can see here. So the next level will get an experience booster medium, which is awesome. And then as you just keep going and going, it'll reward you with more goodies. So this thing goes up to level 45. So yeah, definitely check that out. But what's new this week? We did have a sand slash, which was new. This guy is new. A wishy washy. What a. That is like the most. Like, it's like a common name, but the weirdest name for a Pokemon as well. But that is what we have, a stage difficulty of one. It's a daily Pokemon, so um, they will change daily, of course. We have a Poplia, um, also one of the starters from Sun and Moon. And we also have this guy here, which is, um, I don't know, but he's, he, he seems difficult. He does seem difficult. But yeah, this was the Sand Slash I was talking about. And um, we got a few others, such as this this yeah this this water pokemon so yeah an arrow oh, i did not even know guys some of these pokemon these days are just getting weirder and weirder but names are anyway like if you look back to gen one and two and stuff like that the names are just so much more easier to pronounce or they look easier to pronounce these ones maybe it's because i'm not watching the anime anymore it just seems difficult but yeah these these ones are pretty weird so yeah great chance today with this pokemon and um yeah, honestly, I'm not really sure where to start. I do love to look at this Sand Slash in its uh, a lower form. So I'm definitely considering doing this one. So where shall we begin, guys? I'm going to begin with this one. Stage Shift Quality 3. We don't know how to pronounce it, but it seems like it's going to be worth catching. So here we go. All right. Um, how do I want to begin this? I... All right, this is going to cost us coins, guys. I'm going to go with those two for now. Uh, we're gonna ignore the disruption delay. Hopefully, this doesn't come back to bite us. But we'll see how this goes. Let's see. Oh god, yeah, this this is gonna go pretty bad. I've got no faith, guys. All right. I think the Mega Star is gonna is gonna help us. How much I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. All right. So obviously, my first move has gotta be this. Alright, nice. So that worked out pretty well. I think uh, Ampharos is actually a pretty decent Pokemon to use in, in this stage. How decent? I don't know, but we'll soon, very soon, we'll find out. Alright. I do want to go for the same match, but I don't want to really... Alright, we're going to go for it one more time. Alright, that worked out pretty nicely. Awesome, and this is the disruption, so it is going to be kind of punishing. That is something we've got to be wary of, but I think, hopefully, within the next two moves, we can actually take down this Pokemon, get the capture, and get out of here. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we should be able to do this within the next move. Here we go. Alright, let's make sure we're making the right move. Okay, I don't think it really matters what move we make. We should beat that. Yes, we did. So we've done it in four moves, which is very, very useful. Disruption delay. I don't think we actually needed that, it didn't really, um, I think we saved coins with that, with the attack, obviously it made us defeat this foe quicker, I'm not sure what kind of capture, capture percentage you're going to need to capture this guy, but we've got 34% and that was within 4 moves, so it's okay, not great, but it's okay, damn it wasn't enough, alright, we're going to have to double that to 68, but will that be enough, we'll find that right now, we've actually dropped, the ho dropped below the 30,000 mark on coins, I guess it was worth it, so with 68% it was enough to capture this Pokemon in S rank there, 200 coins as well, and let's see, 60 attack power, ability is shot out, erases 2 non-support Pokemon and increases damage, alright, that's not so bad, that's not so bad, okay cool, so We've caught that Pokemon, so it's, it's an okay start. We've pushed back into the 30,000 mark on coins. We definitely need to do a bit of grinding. We've got one jewel as well, just in case we are desperate for coins. 
but um yeah there was actually that wishy-washy I, I, I wanted to attempt I'm a little concerned actually this one I'm gonna quickly check this is a, a competitive stage which has gone live a Zygarde we have seen them before so it's nothing um, unfamiliar but yeah a limited move format this one has complete form competitive stage is available the better your ranking the better your prize so just for that it's worth doing so complete form sand slash is recommended here um, yeah it's definitely worth a go let's do this now I'm not gonna go all gung-ho here and just like use an attack boost and all stuff like that we're just gonna play this one as it is no boosts and, and just try and do our best and then hopefully when we check back in next week we've uh, have been rewarded with some sort of goodies Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, I just want to go Mega as soon as possible here. We've got 11 moves left. We've actually disrupted them, which is nice. We can go Mega with this awesome I know it wasn't the most deadliest move but it does help us go mega and now we can start to get rid of some of these blocks down below and that worked out very very nicely um, what I would recommend taking here is I don't know maybe disruption delay on its own could be good enough if you want to go all out and get your max score obviously it's best to just take every ability available to you now I say Disruption Delay is the best to go with. Was it actually a possibility? There was only three to choose from from the uh, beginning, so bear in mind, I may be talking gibberish here. Alright, let's see. Ah, I'm a little unsure here. Um, Alright, we'll get rid of all of those guys. Awesome, nice. Ah oh, man, yeah, as I said, the disruption is a, a pain, so if it is available to you, this, this disruption delay is definitely going to be one to go for. Like seriously, it, it really messes you up, but with Glalie here, obviously it's the only Mega I've got available. Well, I had a few other options, but I think Glalie was uh, definitely one to consider. And um, he's doing us proud, he's doing us proud. For our final move, all right, not too bad, not too bad. So honestly, I think we've done okay there. Considering we've used no item boosts, I think we've done okay. Our score was thirteen thousand and twenty-five. We'll see where we've ranked here. I'm pretty pleased with that. Hopefully, you guys think I've done okay there. I know I'm not the best at this game. But I play it all out of fun, I'm not a serious Pokemon Shuffle player. Is anyone a serious Pokemon Shuffle player? <laughs> I don't know. But I play this game for fun, I've been playing it for... How long has this game actually been out for? Maybe two years? Maybe approaching three? I'm unsure, but yeah, I've been playing this since day one and I love the game. It's just a nice, relaxing game where you don't really have to worry too much or even get stressed or anything. It's just, it's just a peaceful game. But anyway, we've ranked... Okay, halfway down the table, uh, 2014, we are out of the 4300 who have attempted this so far, obviously that's going to change over the next few days, but I think we are in, in an okay place, we're going to see what actually gets us, that's going to get us a skill swapper, two mega speed ups and one raise max level, now if you were to rank very high, let's say in the top 100, it would get us a skill swapper, 5 mega speed ups and 15 raise max levels so yeah quite a few things there, we've actually got Z uh, Zygarde already as a Pokemon so we don't need to capture it. Uh, so yeah that's going to be it for this episode guys, hopefully you did enjoy once again, thank you for watching, stick around there's a lot more to come and I hope to see you all next time, see ya!